Hello, hello, hello. How many times you are saying? Cause baby love. I don't even know what I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite So today's video is going to be a very chill like food trip in Malacca and right now um, our first stop is this satay chalop that you can say is really good because and actually it's really good lah because the sauce is very thick it's not diluted and also it's very easy to find parking so right now you ready to give your review on this place <laughs> I already essentially gave the review 4.5 out of 10 okay okay so basically Throughout this trip, I'm going to go to every food place and I'm going to talk about the taste, the price and also give my final rating. So we're going to rate all these food places out of 5. So let's try this. So we're going to do this Google reviews now. So for Yuki, it's 4.5. I guess for me also it's the same because I think it's also the first place. So I don't really have anything to rate it like compared to other things. So yeah, so this is the first stop and I hope you all enjoyed the video. I recommend you all to take this Yotel. Okay, so this is the chicken rice balls. We also caught this kaya with butter toast. <laughs> I really like this butter in between. Because I think it gives like a good amount of saltiness to a sweet, sweet food. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this bread is damn good. I feel like it's like thin enough. And they're so close to the point where it's very like crispy. I feel like it's just like, it's just really good. Lah. So I highly recommend you all to try. <laughs> okay guys, so now we're back in the comfort of our own car and then I'm just gonna give my review on the taste price as well as the rating of the entire store. So for taste wise, I feel like the standout was the Gaia Toast definitely. And I feel like for chicken rice, I still prefer the one year Jonker Walk, the one where people have to wait for I don't know how many hours like Yuki says a very long wait. I also remember it's a very long wait. So I prefer the chicken rice there. But chicken rice here was also okay, like it's not bad. So overall taste was good. And also price wise is $21.50 for both of us. So each person is 10 bucks. I think it's not bad. It's pretty cheap. But we didn't order drinks lah. So 10 bucks is not inclusive of drinks. Okay, I will give the Kaya Toast like 4.5 out of 5 because I think it's pretty good. And also for chicken rice, I guess I'll give 4. Because I feel like if you're gonna compare like the chicken rice today and satay chilok yesterday, I prefer the satay chilok more. And yeah, so this is my review of the place here right now. And after this, we're gonna go eat crib cakes. So yeah. Dessert, and we are going to order two Yay! slices. <laughs> ok 
Hey guys, if you're actually gonna come here to have crepe cakes, you don't have to park like you don't have to look for parking basically. There's a lot of parkings here and free for the first two hours and we already paid for parking but it's okay. So yeah. So each of us picked one flavor and yeah, okay, it looks really really good. And um, tea macchiato. Yeah, you keep ordered like the exam oh, flavor tea. The cheese one is literally locking the tea right now. And Yuki looks like she has a mustache. So Yeah, <laughs> The gemacha though, the gemacha is really really good. This is the true gemacha with thousand percent. Okay, the gemacha is better than the original in my opinion. Like the gemacha flavor is really strong. Jiao jiao, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. The tea is quite good also. I don't need. Okay, so I think I'll give a review of this place. Okay, taste is really good lah. So you already know from my reaction that the taste is really good. And also I think price-wise, it's the same as eating a cake in a cafe. It's about 16 ringgit and the drink over here, this one is 12 ringgit and the cheapest drink here is like about 9 ringgit. So I think it's normal cafe price. So for me, the rating here is 4.8. <laughs> I, although there's no 4.8 in Google review, but I think it's really like not bad. I think it's like so far one of the things that actually impressed me, especially the Get My Cha quick pick over here because their best sellers are original chocolate and Get My Cha. And yeah, so highly recommend y'all to try this place. And the, actually, the waiting time was pretty fast, so the waiting time was only about waiting time for 10 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, it was negligible la, because, like, yeah, it was quite fast, so I think it's not bad. But Yuki, how much would you rate this place? 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5. Okay, she gives 4 out of 5. I like, I'm giving 4.8 out of 5 because actually like cakes a lot. So, yep. Hello, hello, hello. How many times are you? <laughs> Anyways, I ordered a lemon espresso mocktail, so I think there is like lemon, espresso, and also actually I don't know what's the sweetness from, probably from soda. So yeah, this is a refreshing drink. Actually, I drank something like this before in my cafe, and I think this is not bad because I don't want to order latte because I'm too full for a latte, but I don't want to order americano because americanos are just so boring. So that's why I got this. 
looks very fancy and also it's cute. I think their lattes are a bit more impressive because I feel like the last time when I came here I ordered like just a regular hot latte and I felt like it was very smooth and I really liked the taste and the, the art was really really nice as well because everything just looks so smooth and so nice but today I just really can't do a latte for today so I got this and I think this is not bad but would I like to proceed come here to just get the coffee mocktail? Probably not but yeah I really recommend this place if you like like to drink coffee in general because I think their beans are really nice over here. So yeah. I think in terms of price it's normal. It's like about 12 to 16 bucks around there. And also like if you park outside and walk over here it's very convenient so I rate this place like 4 out of 5. Just because I feel like I enjoy food a lot more. I also like coffee but yeah I think not everybody is a coffee fan but this is a place that you can check out if you like coffee. Okay, so now me and Yuki are at Uniqlo and it's the Limbongan, uh, Limbongan outlet. So we're here because we're too full to eat and we just need somewhere to walk. So here, that just opened yesterday and hopefully there will be some good deals for us over here. Hey, so hi guys, we are now walking along the Malacca River and we are heading towards the night market at Jungle Walk because we are going to get our dinner there today. So yeah, hopefully you all enjoy the food clips and I'm not too sure what I'm eating yet. Oh my god! It's Okay, one, one stick like this is 13 bucks. Although it sounds expensive, but I think it's really not bad. And I feel like this is the only store that, all sells this, that sells this kind of thing because the rest of them are all like hot dog stores. This is like actual meat. Is it hot chicken? Oh, it's chicken. Yeah, so it's chicken meat. So. Hello, I 
saw a review of this drink, right? Actually, it's quite good because we know here they actually add like some pop tarts sort of things. So when you drink, right, the thing will actually pop inside your mouth. So it's actually really, really good. Yuki and me think it's very interesting. So y'all can give it a try because this one is at the end of Jungle Walk. So you have to walk like towards the very end and it's at the right side of your of the street. Even though I feel like my description is not very helpful, but yeah, just look up on the sign. Zoom in. So this is carrot cake and this is what I ordered. Yeah. I feel like this carrot cake right, I feel like I prefer the ones in the dim sum shop because like the outer layer of the carrot cake is more crispy but this is like very soft. So yeah, depends on what you like, but it's not bad. And it's very like yeah. it's very fresh right now. So yeah. Oh and by the way, for price, the oyster, actually for two of these together is about 20 bucks, right? Yeah, so probably the oyster is like 12 or 13 bucks, then this like the carrot cake is like 8 bucks. So yeah. And if you want me to rate the food, I feel like it's a 3.5 for I feel like it's not super great, but you know, it's street food. better than the previous one. Right, so now I'm going to give you my true thoughts about this watermelon drink. Personally, I feel like I much prefer drinking the mango drink because somehow when I drink this, I just feel like like it's a, it tastes a bit weird and me and Yuki have this theory that because when they like blend the watermelon, they actually blend in this part of the skin as well so it kind of tastes a bit weird. So for me, I much rather drink watermelon from the cup but it's a good try but I still recommend drinking the mango drink instead. So yeah, and now we are going to go to a bar by the Malacca River. Yeah, right. Yeah, we're gonna go to a bar by the Malacca River. Okay, maybe it's not morning, it's already afternoon. But anyways, today is the second day of our trip. We are currently at this cafe called Sharing Plates and it's actually a sister cafe from the old cafe called Daily Fix. I'm pretty sure a lot of people who came to Blacker already tried Daily Fix. So it's a really nice cafe and we are now here in, yeah, in their sister cafe called Sharing Plates. So anyways, right now we are in the outside table and it's not too bad even though it's 1pm because it's actually very shady and also there's a fan right on top of the sense you will see like the shadows and everything. So yeah, um, hopefully you are enjoying the video so far.
finally got a spot inside. I don't even know what I ordered. <laughs> so this is the barista's choice, which I is basically them with their secret recipe, and I don't really know what they have inside here. So we shall see how it tastes like. Uh, try this if you don't know what you want to drink, like me. Okay, I think there's there's definitely cocoa powder inside hazelnut syrup, and I don't know if they changed that, but I feel like it's not milk. I feel like maybe it's like coconut syrup or something, maybe lah. But there's definitely definitely hazelnut syrup and cocoa powder inside. I think so. It's a sweet coffee. If you are craving something sweet, you can try this. So this pasta test, it's pretty good. You can try it. Oh, it's really quite spicy. Yes. Huh? It's really quite spicy. Yes. For a, for a cafe spaghetti, it's quite spicy, but I feel like it's actually damn nice. Yeah, not spicy. No. Because it's not common to find a flavor like this for spaghetti. So I think it's actually nice, but you know, the waitress actually asked us like, if we want it less spicy, but we choose for it to be like the normal spice. So it's actually quite spicy. La. So if you cannot really take spice, you should ask for the less spicy version. But it's nice. So I highly recommend you all to try it. Personally, I like durian pancakes more, but this is not bad. So overall, I feel like the food here, as you can tell, I really like it. Yuki really likes it as well, especially the pasta. So, and also price wise, price for our What's the top price in this one? Yeah, everything on average I think was like 20 world bucks. Which is so, uh, oh, this pancake is 15 bucks. And I think like the main cost was all like between 25 to 30. So I think it's not bad lah, because like for cafe price in KL is probably even more expensive. So I think price is okay. So let's give our rating. What would you rate this? This place? 4.5. 4.5 She rate 4.5. I think I do rate it 4.5. So yeah. Go ahead, definitely go and try it. I feel like it's not super great, but at the same time, I gotta admit, like the ice is very smooth and they have a lot of gula melaka taste. But maybe because I'm too full from the food just now, so it's just sweet ice. I think it would be very great if you're under the sun for a little time. So, yeah. And took a little price, I see. This was six bucks. And how much would you rate this place? Oh, yeah, this is our I think I rate this place a 4. I think 4 out of 5. It's Yuki's, Yuki's family's go to place to eat ice. So. Hi guys, now me and Yuki are on the way back to KL because we decided not to eat the pork satay we wanted to eat because like we're all already full and yeah, we always believe there'll be a next time to 
come here again. Thank you for to Yuki for initiating this trip because actually we thought of like coming here to have beer together by the Malacca River and we finally actually did it this time. So yeah, thanks to her we have this trip, this like short getaway over the weekend. And yeah, this will be the end of the trip. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Love you miss what she needs, all she got, I don't she know, babe